Hello world, this is J Bob the Video Game Slob coming back at you with a cheap pickup that I got today. $40 for a bunch of Wii games. I'm going to keep this tight um, and, and just try to run through them. So we got a Lego Star Wars game. We got Reload, which is a very bizarre game. Can't believe this gets uh, made for the Wii, to be honest with you. Look at all those guns on the back. There's suicide bombers that you need to shoot. Yeah, I don't know how that got approved in, through a Nintendo license, but there you go. Uh, Mario Galaxy, you know, hopefully 8 to 10 bucks. I'm thinking. Mario Galaxy 2, I think, is a $10 game. Nobody cares about you, Dora. Or Hello Kitty. There's Dora again, haunting my dreams. Uh, Skylanders, always terrible, but you do have to like that Bowser's in this one. Uh, Batman, you know, hard to get excited about those Lego games. Just Dancer. Nearly a cancer on the system. Uh, Hot Wheels Track Attack, not bad, but nobody's, you know, going to write a book about that one. Batman 2, you know, just another Lego game. But here we are to the meat of it. Uh, Kirby's Dream Land should be $20 game. Uh, Mario Party 9, like a $30 game. These two do need buffing, so I'm sure when I go down uh, and talk to the local video game store guy and say, Hey, buff these two games out for me. Uh, he's going to talk me into selling him the games, but, you know, hopefully I can get 50 bucks back there and have my nut out of it and uh, be done with it. But here's the stuff I'm going to end up, well, keeping. I don't actually I probably won't keep that, but that goes to the Kirby Dreamland. I believe this is a variant of Wii Sports Resort. I don't think I have the sleeved copy according to my records. And same goes, I have two copies of Mario Kart variants, but I don't think I have that one. So here's what I actually don't have, don't have, that aren't variants. Uh, G.I. Joe, uh, kind of an uncommon one, I guess. It was a little tough to find on the 360. Uh, Indiana Jones Lego 2, I have the Lego 1. Uh, on Rail Shooter that I didn't have. Actually, the third game that starts with the word chicken on the Wii in my collection. Uh, yeah, I know. There's so many Lego games, but you got to be missing a couple of them, right? Uh, the Cars game, I think that's my fourth Cars game on the Wii. There are a ton of them. Uh, Marvel, you know, Marvel, it's for kids, but whatever. And Transformers Dark of the Moon, I'm actually pretty excited about this because it is car combat. So I like Twisted Metal, I like Full Auto, I like Vigilante 8. Uh, this one actually hopefully sees a little play and hopefully it uh, doesn't suck. So that was that. It also came with... Uh, mountain of extra manuals that are in various beat up shape and an actual Wii manual so you know I always have more loose Wii's than I have full manuals so um, that's that I uh, did want to throw this out here if you're an Overwatch fan make sure to jump out to your local grocer grab some Lukey O's O's Lukey O's uh, what, why did they do that it should be Lukey O's, not Lukey O's. Anyway, if you have a Overwatch fan in your family, head out to the, your grocery store, pick up the newest video game cereal. Obviously, I did. Uh, Play Asia came with a delivery today, so Fast Striker. It's a shoot 'em up from Play Asia, as you can see on the back here. Comes with all the good stuff as they always do for thirty bucks shipped to the United States. You know, soundtrack, manual, all that kind of thing. It comes wrapped in this like it's a comic book. And uh, everything is uh, uh, embossed, 3D, that kind of thing. No, those are not embossed. That was inappropriate. But there you go. There's the sticker that they give you as well. Uh, ended up um, taking down some... Uh, what do you want to call those things? Disney Infinity characters uh, to a guy who was in this video game store today. Uh, looking for some for his kid, and so I ended up trading them in um, to get Pizza Delivery Boy, which I didn't have, that didn't just come in the store, and uh, the Collector's Edition of Forza Motorsports 3, so uh, it needs to be cleaned, uh, to be sure, but hey, these were, uh, you know, Disney Infinity figurines, so nothing really exciting there, and it's also missing its USB drive, uh, but it does have the full metal keychain it is velvety it is embossed it might not come out on camera really well and it does have a different box it's a black box it still has the two discs inside and it's a different cover art obviously so um somewhat cool you know I, as a full set owner of the 360 you know i don't highly 
uh, prioritize getting all the limited editions, but I like ones like this where you can still put it on the shelf. I don't put it on the main shelf. I have a shelf of limited editions that's already overstuffed anyway, but... Uh, th that came in. So anyway, I was down there because this controller uh, needed new sticks, and so like 45 days ago I ordered new sticks off of eBay from some company in China for a dollar and 61 cents, and it came with the um, screwdriver that you needed for it for an extra 11 cents. So I paid a dollar fifty for six sticks and 11 cents for this stupid screwdriver, even though I already had one. Uh, so I replaced them while I was down there. It still needs cleaned. And uh, donated the other four since it's like a dollar twenty for two and like a dollar sixty to get six of them. And he had a whole stack that he needed to have replaced. Um, this is some Lego pieces and parts that I decided to keep. Some of these are really vintage, and these ones with the texture on them there, yeah, I know these need to be washed something fierce. Um, are actually patent pending underneath, so that's how old those are. That was before Lego even had the patent. But just kept some other interesting parts out of this set. Um, this is another buy here uh, from the video game store the other day. And so this was eight bucks. I don't know. You probably can't even see it. It's this huge just box of Legos. There's nothing good in it. There weren't any like mini figures or anything like that. Uh, but I took out all the connects and mega blocks and all the junk that was in there. And uh, bought it for eight bucks. I have a buyer lined up tomorrow morning. For 20 so that means I paid uh, $38 oh man my hands in the way um, for this guy here um, so that means I'll have paid 26 bucks for it this thing is super dirty uh, there we go you can see the Atari label but this is a video arcade so that means it's from Sears it is just filthy beyond recognition and so I'm hoping that what I'll do at the end of this is uh, have another video where I show you that I get it cleaned up. So I spent my day to day with the Legos, not a full day, but the time when my kids went to bed during the day, cleaning those up. And so I hope to clean this up tomorrow and have the next video. I'll have a lead in with this for you. But this is a Sunny Vale six switcher, and I'll go into more in depth about what all that means um, in a video when I have it cleaned, but uh, it, it already works. It was tested uh, from the video game store guy, and so, uh, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll get it in tip-top shape because I, I really love Atari stuff. I especially love the six switchers. Heavy six switchers and the Sunnyvale uh, ones are high on the list, and I like to have all the weird variants like the Sears and, and that kind of stuff too, so. Uh, it's been busy uh, doing the deals here, going up to the store, trading people. Like I said, I'm sure I'm going to be uh, back tomorrow to get these buffed and, you know, have to worry about, uh, uh, selling the video games off and that kind of thing. And I still have to clean up the controller and, uh, all these haven't even gone into the database. So I, st I have to put them all in yet too. So, uh, I appreciate you tuning in, uh, hearing me complain, letting me show off about what's new in the collection, um, and what I'm doing to save some money and get some free games. So, uh, hopefully you're out doing some cool things. I know the weather the weather is freezing cold in my neck of the woods. Uh, so let me know what you're doing in this off season when it's not uh, prime time going out doing garage sales. Uh, how are you keeping the lights on? What are you doing uh, to keep finding cool stuff? So uh, tell J Bob in the comments. Uh, we'll talk to you. Well, it'll be in the new year, but uh, probably when this goes up, it'll already be New Year's. But happy New Year's, YouTube. We'll see you. I'm off.